Assalamu alaikum everybody. Welcome to our class today. Um, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. It has been previously mentioned that consonant letters are prolonged when they follow letters of prolongation for about two seconds. Um, and so you will know all of this. I hope all of you at home, you know which um, letters are prolonged or which um, strokes we look out for, yeah? Vertical fatha, vertical dhamma, oh, sorry, vertical fatha, vertical kasra, and inverted dhamma. Those are our prolongation. But also, you remember alif, lean, um, wow, lean, ya, lean, all of these things. We have learned, haven't we, that certain um, combination of letters or strokes mean that we have to um, prolong the letter sound for about two seconds. But um, sometimes we have to stretch that sound even more. And there are two groups or two, two broad categories of extended elongation. One is maddus sagir, which is medium long elongation. And the second one is maddul kabir, extra long elongation. Okay, and you will see the difference in the sign or in the stroke um, when we practice. I'll, I will point them out. So what's important is for the medium long stretch, the medium long stretch, we will, I'm trying to highlight this and it's not really working, oops. Um, the medium long stretch is around three to five seconds, okay? So I'm going to just highlight for you, you can see there, medium long stretch. And here as well, that sign above the letter, that is um, the one that tells you that you need to prolong this sound. And it's about three to five seconds. And then we'll go on to the next type. Okay, so who's ready to recite with me? Hassan, you've already recited today, so I think we'll go on to the next person, who is Samiha, GB1718. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, uh, Atiya, GB2280. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam, Atiya. Okay, Atiya, let's uh, recite some words together. So we'll start with this one. I'm just going to try and highlight it. Okay, so I will start and then I want you to recite after me, okay? Alati anamtu. Alati anamtu. Good. So did you hear that extra long stretch? Yeah. It's longer than it would be for vertical kasra or vertical fatha. Okay, so let's go on to the next one. Bima unzila. Bima unzila. Good. And we'll do one more here. Do you want to try that by yourself? Yarha ahum. Okay. So here we have ya with fata, ra with fata. This makes what? These make what sound? Yara. Yara. And then you have inverted dhamma above the ha with the madsarir. Okay. So what sound? If the madsarir wasn't there, what sound would this be? Just with inverted dhamma. U. So this is a ha. So what sound? It will not be u. It will be hu. Hu. Exactly. And it will be a little bit longer anyway because it's inverted dhamma. Right. And then we are going to make it even longer because we have this mud sarir on top. So it's yara hu. Good. So you're going to keep it long, okay? Yara hu. Like this. And then what about the rest? So alif with fata, what sound is that? Ah. And then ha with fata. Ha. And <coughs> dal with. Um, uh, with uh, Dhammatain. So what sound is this? Ahadu. Ahadun, because there are two. Do you see? There's one Dhamma there and another Dhamma on top. So if you have your Tanveen, yes, it's going to be Ahadun. All right. So can you recite it again for me? Same word, same phrase, sorry. Yarahu Ahadun. Good. So did you understand that you have to look at what letter it is, the sign that it has above it, and then it will have this extra stroke as well. And that means we have to stretch the sound, okay? Jazakallah. Jazakallah, Tia. 
Okay, so that was Apia. Now we will ask another person. Let's see who is here. Uh, GB13618 Rehan Usman. Oh, where did he go? He's disappeared. Okay. Now here he is. Got him. Yeah, Rehan, are you there? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum aslam. Okay, Rehan, we're going to now move on to Mad Kabir. Okay, so Mad Al Kabir is the extra long stretch or extra long elong elongation. Mm -hmm. And this one is going to be for how many counts? Four to six. Exactly. So because it's the type two, it's going to be longer than the Madul Sahir. Okay, so let's move on to uh, extra long stretch. So those of you who have this um, book, you can practice um, outside of the class. Even if you don't have the book, this, um, uh, you know, all of this, the teaching materials is available on that shared Google Drive. So I hope all of you have been accessing that. Okay, Rehan. So I think you know this one. Can you recite it for me? Alam. Okay, okay, maybe I didn't realize. Okay, so this letter in black, what's the name of this letter? Alif. Alif. Alif so when, yeah, Alif. it's love, Alif Lamim, isn't it? Yeah. So how should we um, recite it? Alif Lamim. Good. So Alif doesn't have any mud on it, right? So we yeah. just say Alif like we normally say Alif, okay? Yeah. But Lam does have this Madul Kabir on it. Yeah. And when we see these letters, we don't say La, we don't say Lu, we don't say Li. We say the name of the letter, which is Lam, okay? Yeah. So that's why you're absolutely right. When you recited it, you said Lam. And we have to make sure we stretch that sound for long enough. Now, then we see that meme has shadda on it. And that means that we have to connect the letter before. We have to join it up, yeah? We have to join it up to the letter before it, okay? So this is the way we will recite this. Alif, la, meme. Because meme mushaddad is the same as meme runa. You remember? Yeah. So we have to emphasize that joining. Lam like this. Yes? Lam Good. So you must make sure that that joining, you also um, recite that. Okay, let's go on to the next one and I'll recite this first and then I want you to recite after me. So here, just to explain, now there is a, a stroke above the letter. That means, I mean, this is easy because actually ha, the name of the letter and the sound that it makes with the vertical fata on top of it is still ha, right? So there's no difference. But we don't say me, we don't say ma, we don't say mu. We say meme at the end, right? So it's mm -hmm. going to be ha, meme. Did you notice how meme, when I recited meme, it was much longer than when I recited ha? Gee, because it's madde kabir. Exactly. So let's uh, hear you do that too. Ha meme. Okay, so this time there was no shad. Do you see there's a shad there, but there's yeah. no shadda here. So if there's no shadda, we don't have to join them. We can say them separately. All right. So no need to say ha mean. No, it's just ha mean. Okay. Ha mean. Good. Okay. So let's try this one. Now, this one again, we do have a letter that has shad on it. Yes. You can yeah. see shadda on the ra. So there is a ra mushadda. So this is the way we're going to recite this when it gets a little bit complicated. To the Ruhunna. Okay, did you hear how I joined the Da sound when I was stretching it to the Ra? Yeah. Yeah? Could you hear that? So let's hear you now recite. The Da. The Da. 
Okay, I think I lost you there for a bit. So we have to make sure that we don't join the tu and the da because there's no shad on da, but there is shad on ra. Yeah. And that way we have to make sure we join these two bits. Okay. Unna. Unna. Okay, let's go on to something a little bit where we don't have to worry about joining. So here's this one. Okay, we do one more with you. Okay, Rehan, let me recite first and then I'll let you, okay? The inuha Bato inuha Good. So just make sure that one is kept long because Madul Kabir. Bato inuha. Good. Jazakallah. That was good, Rehan. You need to just keep practicing um, with the textbook. Okay, let's do one more person. Uh, GB1825 Saba. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, I think Saba is. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam, Saba. Okay, Saba, let's look for some more examples for you with um, Madhul Kabir. Let's go for some easier ones and then we will go for a little bit more challenging ones. Okay, can you do this one, please? Do you want to do it yourself or do you want me to do it first? Oh, I don't know where Saba went. She's been muted. Saba, are you there? Yes. Okay, so do you want to recite this one for me first? Shall I bring it down a bit more? There we go. Good. So this is not ka, this is kaf. Okay. This is kaf, this one here. Do you see? Do you see the difference between this letter and this letter? Yeah. So this is kaf. So good though, because you elongated the sound and you recited it correctly. Just a little bit of the pronunciation needs to be rectified okay good let's do the one below now here ba. Oh, i don't think it's a bar sorry the one i highlighted can you see ja. good. good very nice so again you made sure that you elongated and prolonged that sound for long enough. 